Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to run Windows 11 on a USB flash drive and make this completely portable so you can take it wherever you want, plug it into a computer and boot to it and it will be a working Windows 11 installation on that USB flash drive. So this is a pretty unique way. It used to be called Windows to go, but Windows 11 doesn't support uh, that option. So we need to use another method to create a Windows to go or a portable Windows 11 installation. So let's head over to Microsoft and download the Windows 11 ISO from their website. You can see this is the Windows 11 multi edition ISO. Once you've selected this, you can hit the download button, click on download. It will then take us down to this area where we can choose our language. So wherever you're from in the world, choose your language. I'm going to choose uh, English United States here and we're going to click on confirm and then this will give us the uh, download section for Windows 11 English 64 bit because that's the version I chose and you can see it's now starting to download in the bottom left hand corner of the screen here. So we'll let that download and we'll go ahead and get the tool that we're going to use to create our, our Windows 11 to go on our USB flash drive. So we're going to use Rufus here. And again, we can go to the download section of Rufus. You can either download the installation file or you can download the portable file, depending on what you want to do. I'm going to download the portable file. Now, I will say at this stage, it's very important that you use the fastest flash drive possible. And even better still, you can use an external NVMe enclosure with an NVMe drive in it, and this will make it super fast. So if you want to make this process super quick, use the fastest uh, USB flash drive you have. If it's really slow, it's going to take forever to create and the boot up process for it will be super slow. So you want to get the fastest possible. I would use a enclosure with an NVMe drive or SSD attached to it. and You can use that. But I am using a pretty fast USB flash drive here. So we're going to select the option saying select and choose our ISO that we just downloaded. And I'm going to click open. Now we can leave these settings as is GPT and UEFI non-CSM uh, because we're running Windows 11. I'm going to leave the volume label as is. We need to do the image option and change this to Windows to go. Once we've got this option done, we're pretty much ready to go. You can see the file system, NTFS, everything is set. And now we can choose our version that we want to install. I'm going to go ahead and choose Windows 11 Home here. I will sign into my Microsoft account, but if you want to go through the process without signing into your Microsoft account, then for the time being, I will go for Windows 11 Pro. So let's go ahead and click on OK here. And once this is done, we will be able to move on to the next process. It is going to warn us that all the data on that drive will be erased. I'm going to click OK here to agree, and it will go ahead and get this ready for us. You can see it's going to start applying the image to our USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it. So let's go ahead and let that do its thing. I will speed this up because it does take a fair bit of time. You should see the ready sign when it's finished. We can now click on close and we can boot to this USB flash drive and continue the creation process of our USB flash drive because it's not finished just yet. This is the part of the video a lot of people seem to skip because they don't want to sit there and show you the full process. But I'm going to go through and show you some of the uh, things that is going to happen once we boot to this USB flash drive. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go and boot to our USB flash drive. We will need to change the boot order in our BIOS, and I'll show you all that with the camera so you can see how it goes here. So I've got my camera set up here. As you can see, I'm still on the same PC. Going to restart the PC and boot to this USB flash drive. Now, whatever key you use to change your boot order, mine is F8, and I'm going to be able to choose the SanDisk Partition 1 here. That's my USB flash drive that I'm going to select here. The reason why it says uh, the uh, Partition 1, because it needs to create uh, the Windows installation here on this USB drive yet. So let's go ahead and boot up to this. I will speed some of this process up because it does take a fair bit of time. and You have to be patient. So we're going to let this process go through its thing here. It does take a bit of time and when it gets to the end of getting the device ready, this will take quite a few minutes. Once it restarts the PC, you will get this option. You now need to choose Windows Boot Manager 
and uh, I'm going to choose the Windows Boot Manager Sand Disk because that is the disk I've got in here. We don't need to choose the top option anymore because we have started to create our Windows 11 Windows to Go USB drive here. So this will restart the system and start to boot up here. As you can see, I will speed some of this process up because it is still in the building process here. And once this is done, you should be able to boot straight to the desktop. But we first need to go through this process. And this is the part that a lot of people seem to cut out their videos because it does take a fair bit of time. You will see the Windows uh, splash screen here where we can now start to create an account and all this other sort of stuff that you would do with a normal installation. So I'm going to go ahead and let this load in. And you should now see, uh, choose the right keyboard layout and a bunch of other stuff which you have to go through. I'm not going to bore you with all of that. I'll just reboot the PC again, and it will then get to the terms and conditions of the license. You can accept this. And then basically, this is where we're going to start setting up our username for this account. Now, because I selected Windows 11 Home here, I'm going to have to put in my details to connect to it, and it will then get to the desktop once this is all completed. So this little bit of a stage here does take a fair bit of time. There's probably around about three reboots during the creation process, so be patient. And then we should see a screen looking something like this near the end. Now, it's still working on a few things, and you have to be patient because it is running on a USB flash drive. This is why I recommend that you use a super fast USB flash drive or an enclosure with an NVMe drive in it, and that way you can still keep it portable. And this way, it'll be even faster. So once it's gone through this process here, you will get to the desktop. As you can see here, it's a complete new desktop, which is booting from our USB flash drive. You only have to go through the uh, setup process once. And once that's done, you can then use your USB flash drive as you would a normal Windows 11 installation. Now, again, you can use this portable Windows 11 drive uh, to plug into any computer and it will boot straight up. Uh, to the desktop so maybe you've got an unsupported computer that doesn't run windows 11 and you want to use it quickly you can just boot to this and it will get you straight to the desktop now it's not going to be the fastest experience in the world because we are running off of a usb drive and that's why it's so important to have a super fast drive when you're doing this the drive i used was a sandisk ultra flare which is a usb 3.0 and you can see it on the screen right here and that has up to 150 mbs so that's the sort of drive I use. And they're pretty cheap. Uh, but you really want to try and get a faster one than that because it does uh, speed things up a little bit here. Anyway, hope this video has been some use to you. Someone requested this video, so I thought I'd make this video for you, show you how to do it. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. So my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a shout out to all the people that have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, especially these people who joined my second tier YouTube members group. I really appreciate that because your names are rolling up on the screen right now. So anyway, if you want to join our Discord server and have a chat or have a technical problem or something like that, I'll leave the link in the video description so you can click on there. It's free to join and join our community. If you have joined my YouTube members group, make sure you mention it in the uh, general chat area of our Discord server so I can give you the correct role for the tier that you have joined on my YouTube members group. Anyway, Check out my YouTube channel for more videos like this, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.